I'm here today with Bryce Avery of the Rocky Summer. Um, what's it like, like playing all the instruments all by yourself? Like, cool. um, I enjoy it. You know, I've always been really into music, and I've always really enjoyed just kind of creating something uh, from scratch. You know, just some piece of music. Fifteen songs on it's pretty awesome. Not many albums have that fifteen songs. Yeah, um, I recorded a bunch more actually um, over the course of it, but uh, normally I actually think 15 songs is probably too much, but uh, I just I just felt like it had taken way too long. It, took, it, it, it was done for almost a year before it came out, um, which was crazy, and so by the time there was a release date, I thought just putting out 10 songs was kind of weird. It's, it was like, it's been way too long, so let's just try to get out more more songs than normal, and, um, but yeah. Yeah, well how do uh, music, music League websites like Strike Jam, like it leaked to the day, how do they affect your band? Um, I, I don't mean to sound like a like an old guy, but I like barely even know what those websites are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, like what kind of guitars do you like? I have Grudge guitars, I have Gibsons, Fenders, um, I have Taylors, I have Ibanez, I have uh, more than that. <laughs> well, I don't know why I have so many guitars, I just kind of got them when I was young and or started just continuing to get them. And my dad is, uh, he works next to a pawn shop mm -hmm. and he's a buy sell guy. Like, and um, so he'll call me once in a while and be like, I got this guitar for like 150 bucks. And uh, it's like, do you want it? I'm like, sure, that's really nice, dad. And, and then we'll find out that it's like that it was worth like thousands of dollars. I got this like '68 Gretsch from a pawn shop for 150 bucks. Yeah, it's crazy. So, what's the last movie you saw? Um, what's the last movie I saw? I saw Hot Tub Time Machine. Was that any good? Uh, it was funny. It was funny. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit crude, but what do you expect from a movie like that? So, yeah. Yeah. Was it Adam Sandler? No, it was. Uh, uh, John Cusack was in it, and um, uh, Clark something. Mm -hmm. He's a like, rules with Michael Sarah. I actually talked to him once on MySpace. He was a Rocket Summer fan, so, so it was weird seeing the movie. It was just like that guy is still a fan. Um, this is my favorite candy. I like the blue sweet tarts. What kind of toothpaste do I use? Um, I think I use Colgate. I don't know. I just use. I just use. I just go to the store and buy toothpaste. I don't really put too much thought into it. The last thing I bought, I bought a new Imogen Heap record. I bought Best of Pantera. I bought um, the Julian Casablanca CD. And this band called the Avett Brothers. I don't know if it's the Avett Brothers or the Avett Brothers. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't looked into it. That's pretty. Have you ever had any new death experiences? Sure have. I, I, I was uh, I was like tubing on this river when I was a little kid, and um, and I got separated from my whole family. And it was like this like total redneck scene, and I uh, um, was totally like wasted. And I was just chilling on their island with them. It was like this like eight year old kid, just like getting really scared. And um, and so I finally decided I have to just like go out and try to find my family on this river. And so I went on this river and I was by myself. And, I went down this, uh, basically, uh, there, there was this huge drop off that went under this bridge, and I went on it, and I, of all the space in the world, I hit the, the pillar thing, and um, I, I like, went under the water, and there was like an undertow, and uh, that's when my dad saw me, he was like trying to get to me, and he thought I was drowning, and I thought I was drowning, and um, I came out, and I was like all bloody and beat up, but I came out, like, I don't know how I came out, but it was really frightening. So. And I also got attacked by a dog one time in the hospital. But I, I was like, just like a really, I've always loved dogs. And um, you got any like crazy story, tour story? Um, this is our first band tour in five years. Mm -hmm. We decided to uh, to just save some money and just like yes. go back to our roots and be in a band. And uh, and we broke down on the side of the road um, and. We, uh, well, we broke down a couple times. The first time we broke down was six hours after we left um, for the tour. 
and we rolled off this exit ramp and we landed right in front of this sign that just said done. It said D U N had an arrow. So we're all like, what the heck does that mean? You know? We're all like overly really spiritual people and they're like, okay, maybe it means that all of our problems are done. That's not I don't think it meant anything, because we had no problems after that. And then we um we broke down again and uh, and these and I and I Facebooked, I was like, we broke down this other road and fans saw it and right. drove by and saw me. Oh they hit you up. And I jumped in the car with them and just to go to the show just to play acoustic, um, which the the band ended up making it just in time, but um, we stopped at a McDonald's and there were all these people, um, they were all wearing the exact same thing and they had all just gotten dropped off uh, from prison. Wow. And so they are all, they're all like asking us for liquor and stuff. It was just this really surreal day. Is that about it? Do you want to wrap this up? Um, uh, sure. Anything else you want to say? Um, no, thank you for interviewing me and, uh, no yeah, thanks. Come hang out sometime. Yeah, you can check out Rocket Summer on MySpace and RocketSummer.com. Twitter and all that good stuff. Alright. Alright. Cool man. Good job dude. Good first first interview.